Yo, what's going on? It's your main man, Rick the Dawn. You already know what it is, y'all. So I'm going to make a big change. I'm going to go uh, go to three minute quarters. Um, the last video did pretty well. Seems like people really missed this content, and I'm very happy to bring it back. Um, I haven't checked my comments, so if you said anything about the game, um, I'm going to check my comments today or tomorrow, this weekend, all right? So make sure if there's anything you want to say, say it, because let me tell you, life has been so fun lately. I haven't even been dropping on YouTube. I know you probably noticed, but it's not because I'm not a good YouTuber or whatever. Let me tell you something. Like, if like if it's not already obvious, I'm not a YouTuber. I am literally just myself, and I drop videos on YouTube. I think people get that mixed up. So they expect me to drop videos and check my comments all day, all night. No, like, I'm not a YouTuber. You know, obviously, if I was, I would do that kind of stuff. But I'm really just, just like you. And I just so happen to have a recorder as I, you know, as I play these games. So if you're wondering, like, why I don't drop the same type of content, why my videos are always random... Cause I'm just having fun, man. Like I don't take it too seriously. You know what I mean? Some people take it too seriously. For me, it's just literally a pastime and something I do to have fun. But nevertheless, I don't I don't know if you're realizing it, but I'm trusting Jeffy's eyes so much more with the rock. Um, after playing, wow, that's a rare drop right there. But after playing the college version of the game and having a really good running back, it really taught me how to run the ball. All right, so I just want to say thank you to the amazing people who liked the last video. Not just watched it, but watched it and liked it. You know, you people are just amazing, man, like straight up. And that's why I'm coming back with more college, uh, or I should say Retro Bowl content. And yes, if you're wondering, I am going to continue the college series, but let's face it, the college series is so much different from the Retro Bowl series as far as like disability and things I'm able to do. And I'm also, as you can tell, running three minute quarters because I've kind of gotten used to doing that on the college series. So I felt like it only makes sense to do it on this side. Woo, good hit. I set Willie Jackson up for absolute failure. Now, even though I haven't really checked the comments the way I want to, I can't ignore, oh, this is a bad setup right here. Hold up, let me focus real quick. Ooh, I might have set myself up. How terrible would it be to get this far down the field and mess up right here? There you go. <clears throat> I happened to see one comment, and it was, like, by mistake. Let me focus real quick. Hold up. Ooh, why? And it was about my main man, Big Mike. He was upset that his player in Retro Bowl College had graduated, and he was also upset that his player in Retro Bowl have been cut so a lot of people didn't see that episode because i didn't drop it i did it offline and hold up all right shout out to buffalo playing a good game but i did it offline and what i did was i made some very very important cuts man i mean after you lose a retro bowl and you know you, you don't even score 21 points in a retro bowl you realize your team is not as good as you thought and that's despite our record. So I made some very, very controversial cuts and trades. And one of those trades was Big Mike, the uh, Retro Bowl version of Big Mike. So, you know, obviously, Big Mike got upset about that. And, you know, it's no disrespect to my main man, Big Mike, one of my, my greatest supporters of the series. But what, what I want people to understand is when I, when I, like, make cuts and stuff like that, it's not a personal thing. It's more or less just me making the right call for my team. Man, can you tell me like who is who who got stick moves like that? Like who who ju who juking like that or better? Like seriously, I turned some into nothing. Like I don't even, I don't even think their team is able to touch my people. Like right now, like I don't even think we have we been tackled this drive. Like I feel like I'm doing some, some something kind of cool right here. All right, dude, that's the, maybe the first tackle of the drive. But anyway, what I wanted to tell my man, man Big Mike was, hey Big Mike, you tripping, big dog? Because all you got to do is let me know you want to be somebody new in the game, and I'll throw you right back in. Like, you, you don't got to get upset, but dog. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, so it's like Big Mike, just pick a, pick a player that's on my roster that's not claimed by a real person, and you'll become him. Like, come on. We good, big dog. 
Uh, we're looking real good. And it feels so good to play Retro Bowl because, man, Retro Bowl College is a gauntlet. You just can't win unless you play the perfect game. And that's even on three-minute quarters because they just kind of like they starve you of your resources and, you know, good players. But when you hop over to the Retro Bowl side, totally different situation. Now, what makes this drive very interesting is that we only have one minute left. And the big question that I often ask myself is, can we score in one minute? Shout out to the nine-ranked kick returner. Goodness gracious. That was not a bad return by any stretch of the imagination. All right. Glad I got out of bounds on that play. And I'm looking for plays down the field. Very hard to do when some of these plays are just not down the field. But... When you got stick skills like this, anything is possible. We're already near the 50. Beautiful throw right there. See if we can do something. Okay. Not much we can do it uh, with that play right there. Ooh. Man, this guy's throwing is so tight, man. Like, I'm not getting any plays down the field, but that's because of the play picking. I can't control that. But as far as just throwing the ball and hitting your target, like this guy is really nailing it. And it feels good to play with a player that can hit his targets when you play Retro Bowl, the college version. Get there, get there, get there. Beautiful. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that is how it's done. That was textbook execution. Textbook. And I'm gonna go over the top to the tight end. Ah. That was a risky play, but I had to take that risk. No question about it. Interception by Travis. Now, that was another thing that uh, Big Mike was pointing out, that a lot of the players remained on the roster, but his player got cut. But, you know, Big Mike, I didn't explain this just because um, the Big Mike version of Retro Bowl required a lot of, you know, cap space. So, in the offseason, I had to make a lot of room and cut a lot of players, you know, just because we needed cap space. And quite frankly, I didn't want to run another season with that exact same roster. So I had to make some changes. Ooh, then inception. Inception. Wow. Beautiful play right there by the offense to stop that from turning into an interception. All right, so one thing I haven't really done a good job of, and that is feed Jeffy's eyes. So I'm going to definitely do that this time. I'm going to get him the rock as much as, much as possible. Because uh, I feel like we have a very comfortable lead right now. And they can't tackle us for, for some reason. You know, maybe it's me. Maybe it's the game. I don't know. They can't tackle us. All right. Let me, let me, give, let me feed Jeffy's eyes for just a, just a moment. Because playing Richard Bowl College, one thing that has happened is that I've become a big fan of the run game. I mean, because if you haven't seen it, Go watch Retro Bowl College content, at least my content. You'll see it. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, Ja'Cory Williams is just like one of the best. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Ja'Cory Williams is one of the best running backs I've ever played with. So he's kind of revitalized my, my respect for the run game and actually changed my perspective on the running back player. So I would say check out my, my uh, Retro Bowl College content. And you'll see exactly what I mean. This is why I'm going to start to feed Jeffy's eye at a higher clip. Now, for some reason, this game is becoming very icky. It's what I like to call games where you have a lot of turnovers. And let's see if we can clean it up a little bit. Get there, get there, get there. Nice. That was beautiful. Beautiful uh, execution there. Ah. All right. And great tackle by the defense. But again, this drive... I want to emphasize Jeffy's eye. So let's see if we can get him some touches. All right. I'm going over the top. Beautiful catch right there. That was actually a bad throw. Um, had that going just slightly differently with a suck. That was risky, but I decided to take the risk. Right now, we're looking really strong. Just a couple bad plays back to back. All right, so if you don't know what I did right there, I let the uh, the play run out just a little, uh, just enough for the defense to drag behind. Ooh, okay. So one thing about Jeffy's eye that kind of holds him back is his speed. He's not fast, and uh, that is seems that seems to be his Achilles heel. 
I want to run out the entire third quarter. I don't necessarily want to score quickly. All right, but you see how much time I have to correct my mistakes. This is why I played on too many quarters. But, you know, in retro bowl, college is different. You actually need more time. The more time you have, the better. And that's why I'm totally okay with playing three-minute quarters on that side because let me tell you. All right. Big question here. Should I go for two and really seal this game up? I think the answer is yes. All right, this game should be sealed. And, you know, this is like a redemption season. We, we lost in the Retro Bowl last season by one point on one bad play. It was the most ter terrible thing you could ever uh, see. If you look at episode 70, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. I mean, we're talking about the ending was so bad that I just didn't even want to show it because it was so embarrassing. I literally tried to run the... Uh, what, what I forgot what I was trying to do. I think I was trying to. Wow. I was trying to run with the quarterback. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's been a while. And instead of running, something weird happened. Beautiful dive catch. Somebody is watching what I'm doing right now. Like, yo, Rick is balling out right now. And because I showed the full game and I don't really edit my gameplay, you really get to see the buildup and how my guys are executing plays. We're looking really strong in this game. And this is what makes me want to play Retro Bocada so bad because I feel like I've gotten to the point where, I mean, Retro Bowl feels like it's automatic right now. It's like I don't have to try it as hard. Now, I will say I made a slight miscalculation in getting down here so fast. If I were to lose this game, it would be because of bad timing or, you know, plan, planning the timeout. So we definitely want to slow down just a little bit and make sure that that clock hits the 30 mark before we go and hit a home run. Ooh, good tackle. That, that could be something that changes the uh, dynamic of the game. If I were to lose this game, it would be because of that tackle right there. Ooh, wow. We might lose this game. Can you believe that? But that clock should tick a little faster, right? Let's see. All right, that's got to be game. Don't, don't do nothing to don't do it. Don't do it to me. All right. All right. So we got out of that game. Actually, terrible execution on the back end. That was certainly uh, just bad execution. Somehow we're still in the wild card. And that only means one thing. That means that this season there's some really good teams, um, you know, holding their own. So shout out to Philly. I see Philly as, as first place right now. That was almost a catastrophic failure. And I can't tell you like how thankful I am to get through that game. But 395 yards by Royal Royals balling out as always. Jeffy Zah hasn't really cracked the mold yet. I'm still trying to, you know, find my rhythm with him. And in that last game, you saw I was trying to get him activated, but um, it just didn't have it. You know, it just didn't get it going. But nevertheless, thank you for checking out the video. You already know what time it is. My your family, throw a like on the video. That's how we roll. And I will be checking my comments. I know I've been slacking on that, but I've been living life, man. If you don't, if you don't respect that, then I don't know what to tell you. But, you know, spending time with the kids, spending time with the family, you got to respect that. You know what I'm saying? But I'll be back, you know, focusing on the game, getting it right. And uh, until then, I'll see y'all. Stay safe out there. Peace.